my fans. So today we have a new video from the company or the development, the indie development team called Overhand Interactive, where they have that kickboxing slash more tie uh, game that they're developing. But they're drip feeding us some information on the game itself. Um, let's go ahead and look at their newest trailer and also look at the trailer. I didn't actually cover that third or second trailer that came out or teaser. So we're going to look at the newest one that just dropped today. And then we're going to look at that one uh, as well. Let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. All right. So let's go ahead and play this here. <clears throat> I'm liking the head movement. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, head movement with the, now with that counter indicator where everything flashes white. No gloves, okay. Okay, one thing I'm noticing is the no gloves didn't change the sound and the sound is perfect for gloves hitting skin or gloves hitting headgear, or gloves hitting shoulder, or what have you. It has that real, like, leather to skin sound that I love. One thing that a lot of, you know, fighting boxing games or combat sports games always kind of get wrong is the sound. But it appears that Overhand Interactive got the sound down packed. And I'm also looking over here, and it has a lot of the different, the leg, right leg, left arm, uh, health over here at the bottom that's also an interesting dynamic so it looks like there are still some audio things that they're going to work on in terms of like switching the audio if it's barehanded um, but i prefer them to have the the gear on it just it just i don't know it, it gives them something different uh and also the way that the fighters are framed it gives me vibes of Fight Night. It gives me Fight Night uh, champion vibes, right? They're framed in a way where the, the size of the characters and how they look on screen just gives me a vibe of, of Fight Night itself. So let me go ahead and uh, finish this off. Did he faint? Let me just double check. Yeah, he did faint. That was cool. Yeah, the sound... Now, I didn't cover this one because I felt like it wasn't needed to cover. It didn't feel like it, it covered new ground. However, it does have something very unique here. That recovery frame was crazy. He threw the kick. Let's see. And, woo, he took a long time to recover, although it did look like he blocked upstairs. That was a really cool th uh, element to it. That that little, he, he missed upstairs and he got got caught in the leg and it tripped him i like that i really really like that i actually like this a little bit more than what the new thing that they showed us uh looks like maybe it's just the lighting a, a different location or maybe this one looks cleaner or for something like maybe the other one was recorded in a lower quality uh but this one looks really really good and i like how the hands get stuck and all that stuff the, those are the the physics stuff that make the, that give the game the uniqueness right that anything can happen head movement is good i'm wondering how much control you have of head movement though cuz that head movement looked almost as if that's the animation right like he's always going to go like that i'm wondering if there's going to be a sort of head movement system where we could just Fully control it. And then, of course, the, the quick ones that, that, that just do the motion. But they're different. They're separated from, like, full control of your head. I think that's an important thing that's come with a lot of these combat sports games. The UFC games as well as the boxing games. Uh, and I think those are important touches to the game. So I'm hoping that that is a, the case. Uh, but we'll have to uh, wait and see. It looks like they have a lot of stamina, which I think is really good. I like when you could throw a good amount before, you know, you stop throwing. And it looks like that's what they are doing here. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they appear to have good, like a good, decent amount of stamina. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. We keep getting these teasers, though. For example, this one was called Dev Update Number One, and I don't. Mean, it doesn't feel like a Dev Update, right? Like I, 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 no, no shade to them because I'm loving the game. I'm loving the sounds. I'm loving how the punches look, the punch animations. 
everything. Um, I'm waiting, you know, waiting for more information. I'm just hoping that they said that this, the, the new video that they showed is just a teaser as they're going to update us on everything that they're doing. I want people talking, right? I want to see them breaking down what is it, it, what is it exactly that we're seeing? How does head movement work? How does this work? How does that work? Uh, what is what are they doing to to you know to put this together? When are they expecting to to have people try it out? Right, be uh be be it a, a beta or an alpha or some sort of testing, um, a demo or what have you. Like I'm wondering when is those things gonna happen? And maybe he doesn't have to talk about that, but I do want somebody some sort of like a developer talking about this in the next video so that they could give us more details about the game. I'm super excited. I'm super into this game and very rarely am I into like the kickboxing stuff, the more tie stuff, but this one just touches something. I don't know. Maybe it's because it looks so close to fight night. Maybe it's because the punches look good. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the sound. Maybe it's the framing. I don't know what it is, but something about this, uh, this game is compelling to me. Um, and, and I want to see more, but I want to hear more, right? I don't want to just watch it and then consider this like a dev update. I want to actually hear them talk and, 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 and kind of break things down and show us what, what they're doing and their path and how they're you know doing these things or whatever, or what, they, what they're what they going to show us in the future. Like I, I, I definitely want to see more detail in that department, but in terms of the gameplay, what they've been showing us, I think is uh, absolutely phenomenal. Let me know what you guys think. This is our second video on this overhand uh, project. Uh, but I want to keep it going. So let me know down in the comment section. Do you guys like this? Do you guys enjoy this this game? Do you guys want me to continue to cover it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Hit the like if you do. Hit the subscribe if you do as well. And share. Share the video. As Let's try to get these, these guys to, to get popular. That's very important. The more popular they get, trust me, the more motivation they're going to get to keep pushing this and trying to push it as 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 best as possible and, and maybe even helps them recruit more people until the next one guys peace out